ADC approved six projects involving total cost of 9,569 crore taka. Youth should choose independent professions instead of confining their enormous potentials for getting jobs only, says Obaid al-Qadir. Saudi Arabia and Qatar agree to open airspace, land and sea borders after three and a half years. TV Chottogram Center. You just heard the headlines. We have details of those and other stories coming up. The government has allocated an additional 5,659 crore taka to procure, preserve and distribute COVID-19 vaccines to stop the spread of this deadly virus. The approval came from the ECNEC meeting held with ECNEC chairperson Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in the chair today. The Prime Minister chaired the meeting virtually from her official Gonopobon residence. Cabinet members, planning commission members and secretaries concerned joined the meeting from the ADC conference room in the city's Sherry Bangla Nogar area. Six projects were approved at the meeting involving an overall estimated cost of 9,569 crore taka. The initial cost of COVID-19 emergency response and pandemic preparedness project was 1,127 crore taka when it was first approved in April last year. Apart from procuring, preserving and distributing COVID-19 vaccines, the other major project operations include installing modern microbiology laboratories alongside PCR machines at 27 medical colleges and hospitals in the country. Briefing reporters after the meeting, Planning Commission member Abul Kalam Azad said, the government aims at giving COVID-19 vaccines to around 13 crore 76 lakh people aged over 18 years in the country. The Planning Commission member said the frontline workers, including health workers, personnel of law enforcement agencies and media personnel would get the vaccines on priority basis. সংরক্ষণ এবং বিতরণ হলো অন্যতম কাজ আমাদের লক্ষ্য হলো 13 কোটি 76 লক্ষ লোককে টিকা রাউতা আনা এখানে একটু জিনিস বলে রাখি 18 বছর নিচে যাদের বয়স তাদেরকে টিকা রাউতা বিশেষ কারণ ছাড়া আনা হবে না at the briefing planning minister may manan said prime minister shakh hasina had herself placed utmost priority on the issue of successfully handling the covid-19 crisis of the approved six projects. Amra Bishas Kori, Amra Chukti, Kulo, Punkan, Punkan, Manahobe. Among Amra confident, Amade Torofte, Amra Shotobag, Tuiri, Amra Orchard Juganache, Gavastopan Amra Amra Goretulici, or Amra Ashakurchi, Amra Bishas Kori, Amra Jotashome, Vexin Pabo, Abu Bitter and Gavastopo, Amra Tunto, Nia Bitter and Alokamakurichi, frontline worker. Of the approved six projects at today's ECADC meeting, three are new and three revised. The five other approved projects are construction of moderate information complex at the district level first phase, Shundoban Protection Project, Procurement of equipment for conducting search, rescue operations and establishing emergency communication during earthquakes and other disasters. Third phase, upgrading district highways to new standards and with first revised and Chottogram City Outer Ring Road project, third revised. Awami League General Secretary and Road Transport and Bridges Minister Badal Kader has urged the youth to choose independent professions by using their merits and their possibilities and potentials and not to run after jobs. 
He also urged private universities to emphasize more on research works besides or alongside other public universities. Badal Kader made the call at the Silver Jubilee program of Asian University through video conference from his official residence in the capital this morning. The youth have to be entrepreneurs and give jobs to others and avoid the mentality of running after jobs. The Road Transport and Bridges Minister said the government had opened up many avenues, created several platforms for youth entrepreneurs in the country. The Minister also urged everybody to play active roles from their respective positions to build a prosperous future led by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. তিনি শুধু প্রধানমন্ত্রী নন তিনি দেশকে এগিয়ে নিয়ে যাচ্ছেন অদম্য প্রাণ শক্তি দিয়ে দিন রাত পরিশ্রম করছেন বিনা যুদ্ধে জয় করেছেন আর এক বাংলাদেশের সমান সুনীল সমুদ্র সীমা সম্ভাবনা দ্বার উন্মুক্ত করেছেন ব্লু ইকোনমি তিনি আমাদের স্বপ্নকে আকাশের সীমানা ছাড়িয়ে বঙ্গবন্ধু স্যাটেলাইটে ভর করে পৌঁছে দিয়েছেন মহাকাশে বিশ্ব ব্যাংকের অপবাদের বিপরীতে নিজস্ব অর্থায়নে পদ্মা সেতুর মতো বিশাল প্রকল্প আজকে যার উদ্যোগে যা সাহসী প্রয়াসের সোনালী ফসল হিসাবে আমরা পেতে যাচ্ছি পদ্মা সেতু তোমরা মাদক থেকে দূরে থাকবে মাদককে না বলবে দুর্নীতিকে না বলবে সাইবার অপরাধকে না বলবে নানান সামাজিক অবনমন থেকে নিজেদের রক্ষা করবে লড়াই করে এগিয়ে যেতে হবে লড়াই করে বাঁচতে হবে লড়াই করে নিজের সৃজনশীলতাকে মনন ও মেধাকে বিকশিত করতে হবে উন্নত জীবনের অভিমুখে সৃষ্টির অভিযাত্রা নব নব বিজয়ে মুকুটিত হতে হবে Asian University Vice Chancellor Professor Emeritus Dr Abul Hasan Muhammad Sadiq presided over the function while Awami League Women and Children Affairs Secretary Meher Afroz and Asian University Trustee Board Chairman Dr Zafar Sadiq were present. The construction work of Bangladesh-India friendship bridge over the Feni River at Ramgor in Kagrachuri district is nearing completion. The activities of the Subrum Ramgor land port will begin soon after the bridge opens. The Miri Shorai Ramgor Potikchuri Hiyako road is being expanded centering the port. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and her Indian counterpart Narendra Modi had laid the foundation stone of the French bridge on Bangladesh's Ramgor and Tripura's Subrum borders on the 6th of June in 2015. The bridge will be 412 meters long and nearly 15 meters wide. 90% work of the bridge has been completed. Businessmen in Chhattogram consider the Subrum Ram Ramgor land port as the gateway to the northeastern states of India. The Indian High Commissioner to Bangladesh, Vikram Duray Swami, said this land port will play a vital role in facilitating business and communications between Chhattogram port and the eastern Indian states. He said a feasibility study was underway. regarding the construction of an alternative road from the Subram Ramgor land port to Chhattogram port gire over bridge ta ke tu niche jabe ke tu ja ami koshto dur upor jete parbo na please are ai bhalo na ওভারব্রিজ থেকে নিচে দৌড়ে রাস্তা পারছেন কোন চলেন থানায় 
রাস্তা পারাপারে ওভারব্রিজ ও জেব্রা ক্রসিং এর ব্যবহার সরকার বাধ্যতামূলক করেছে এগুলো ব্যবহার না করলে সরকারি বিধি ভঙ্গের দায়ে আপনার জেল ও জরিমানা হতে পারে তাই জীবনের ঝুঁকি এড়াতে রাস্তা পারাপারে ওভারব্রিজ ও জেব্রা ক্রসিং ব্যবহার করুন Gulf leaders have gathered together in Saudi Arabia for a summit that is expected to see the end of a three-year embargo against Qatar by its neighbors end. Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim Al Thani was greeted by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman on arrival in Al Ula. Saudi Arabia reopened its borders to Qatar last night, and a U.S. official said an agreement would be signed. Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain and Egypt had cut ties with Qatar after pledging it supported terrorists. Everyone in England must stay home except for permitted reasons during a new coronavirus lockdown expected to last until mid-February, Prime Minister Boris Johnson said. All schools and colleges will close to most pupils and switch to remote learning from Tuesday. Boris Johnson warned the coming weeks would be the hardest yet amid surging cases and patient numbers. Meanwhile, COVID-19 global death toll crossed 18,64,000 as more than 9,000 people died yesterday around the world. More than 8 crore 62 lakh have been infected globally and more than 6 crore 12 lakh people have recovered so far. The U.S., still the epicenter of the pandemic, has now 2 crore 13 lakh 55,000 confirmed cases and 3,62,000 deaths. The country reported 1,987 deaths just yesterday. Chief Executive Officer, CEO of the Serum Institute of India, SII, Adar Punawal, has said export of COVID vaccines are permitted to all countries. The Serum CEO informed this through a tweet message today as he tried to clear confusions about the export of corona vaccines. Punawala said a joint public statement with Bharat Biotech will, make so will be made soon to clear the confusions. Twenty COVID-19 patients died in the country, taking the death toll from the pandemic to 7,670. The recovery count rose to 4,62,459 after another 944 recovered during the same period. A press release of the Directorate General of Health Services confirmed this today. The tally of infections rose to 5,17,920 with 991 new cases being confirmed. And now, before we end the news, let's take a look at what's making the headlines here. Government allocates additional 5,659 crore taka to procure, preserve and distribute COVID-19 vaccines. ECADC approves six projects involving total cost of 9,569 crore taka. Youth should choose independent professions instead of confining their enormous potential for getting jobs only, says Abad al Saudi Arabia and Qatar agree to open their airspace, land and sea borders. That's after three and a half years. And route announced for international marathon to be held in Dhaka on the 10th of January in celebration of Mujibia.
And that's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for staying with us and we invite you to watch our news at 11.30, which is going to be in Bangla. And until then, for the half